Yes? Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Feel all right? Hmm, so so. Why do you ask? Been wondering, how's your hand? Your fingers. They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbutt needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers, but I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting.
Greetings. Yes? Heard you can get fresh trout around here. Cheap. What? Trout? Touch a trout? <laughs> get chewed out. <laughs> Understand? It'll give you a right bullock. on trout perhaps but it wasn't you I was to meet sir want to talk to the letters recipient I gotta be present caution would advise cautions advising you not to argue right now trust me seems I've got no choice come with me <laughs> this way it's not far From you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye. You're surely right, Miss. I. It just worked what I expected since Lady Bagel, bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of mine. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weak. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every Mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, and whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbud can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. That's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, my lady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from the Zair. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. 
Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. Someone's in a good mood. So? Nothing. Just, you look good when you're giddy. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. 